Back here on Christmas Day, Newark, New Jersey, Brian Kenny, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, Ray Flores, Ray John Chance, Elon DeJesus coming up next. This is an interesting fight. They met back in September. It was a draw. Lennox, it was a bizarre draw as well. We'll get into all the particulars of it, but I'm surprised these two are matched so early because someone's got to take a loss. They took a draw, and now they rematched once again. Both fighters wanted this to get after it once again. They weren't happy with the last two fights that they had, and it was so close that this third fight, they have to, one has to step ahead. Is it down to training? Is it down to what they thought they should have done in the last fight or what they should do in this fight? I think Chance has a better boxing stance. I think uh, uh, the Jesus has a, you know, a rough, rugged style, and he likes to come to the body. So it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a close fight, but we want to see which one's going to take the lead. And Joe, they did meet in the amateurs. It was a split decision win for Chance there. De Jesus, though, looked like the better guy in that fight last September. So I'm almost surprised Chance wants a piece of De Jesus again. Well, I, I think uh, Chance's style would uh, benefit him in the amateurs, you know, scoring-wise. Right. Absolutely. Where in the pros, yep. De Jesus would probably favor him the way they score a pro fight. But either way, it was very competitive last fight. I'm looking forward to this. Absolutely. Now, the thing is here, tail of the tape, the, the biggest number here is the age. Yeah. Uh, Chance, again, is a more decorated amateur. De Jesus got a very late start. Started boxing at 18. He's now 27. So, again, Chance, young guy, facing a uh, grown man in there. And they rematch after a bizarre draw, again, just last September after meeting at the USA Nationals a few years back in the amateur ranks. Let's get this one going. We go back to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, from the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey, Premier Boxing Champions presents our co-main event of the evening. Presenting our judges scoring from ringside, we have Lynn Carter, Henry Grant, and Robin Taylor. All right, fans, here we go. This is a rematch. In a battle of undefeated featherweights, we're scheduled six rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first, on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black and white trunks, hailing from Dunkirk, New York. He weighed in at 123 and three quarter pounds. Undefeated with a record of three wins, no losses, one draw, two wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the undefeated Elon, El Leon de Jesus. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, hailing from East Orange, New Jersey. He weighed in at 125 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of five wins, no losses, one draw with all five wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated, knockout-minded young prospect, introducing Rajon Picasso. Chance. And our third man to the ring, our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Harvey Duck. Okay, boxers, we went over instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. This should be very interesting. Again, Ray John Chance is the local guy from East Orange, just a few miles away. De Jesus, though, has some real fans here right behind us. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this, though. I don't, Chance said when he met him in the Golden Glove Finals, the National Golden Glove Finals, he said, I looked across the ring. You know, he's an 18-year-old kid. He said, this guy's like 24. He's got his yeah, kids here. Exactly. It's like, you know, right, this is a grown man. But I tell you what, Joe, that discrepancy is still there. De Jesus is a tough, tough fighter. Yeah, and he's, he's going to come out differently, he said. He said he's going to put more pressure on early. He's going to try to cut off the ring. And, but he said, he goes, when he puts on pressure, I don't want to walk into something stupid, but I have to press more this fight earlier. You can see a long jab there by De Jesus as Chance is able to slip out from under that one, and he misses, comes up short with the right hand. So good head movement, good defense from Chance, who, Joe, as you mentioned, you know, very good amateur, 133 and 15 as an amateur fighter, right. and was ex big things were expected as a pro, and he's got that one draw, and he's putting an L on the line here against De Jesus tonight. Well, you know, both corners have to be very nervous about this, to tell you the truth, because they, you know, you put a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of, a lot of things into a fighter, and 
sometimes you get a draw, you go, let's just walk away from right. that one. Exactly. <laughs> you know. By the way, that, that was a dynamite little right hand from Chance there. I mean, just put right off the jaw of De Jesus, and I don't think Chance landed a shot that hard in the previous fight the whole night. Yeah, Chance has really said he wanted to get his job going. He was upset at, at the last fight uh, when they both fought. He, he felt he didn't do enough, and this fight he wants to do a lot more and show that uh, he's got a lot more in him. Yeah, look, Jesus also said, look, I, I, you know, I, I wanted this guy. I wanted to get this guy. I was surprised he took the fight. Chance said, I couldn't sleep at night until I faced this guy. But Joe, to your point, that's where your trainer and your manager step in and say, let's just walk away. This guy's yeah. all bad. Yeah. Let's walk away. Yeah, you know, you, you know, you're going to think differently than your fighter. Right. You know, you're going to think about maneuvering him through the shark-infested waters. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they, they, they walk into the shark-infested waters. So it indeed, the Jesus misses the right hand there. Yeah, but I thought that was good by chance saying that he wanted to fight again. Oh, yeah, they wanted it. Listen, they both wanted this fight. Oh, did somebody's hands touch the canvas? Was it chance? I saw that there was an exchange there. I think it was more of a, a balance issue, but we can check back on yeah. that, Lennox. Isn't that what happened last fight? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, look, again, we haven't even gotten into yeah. the, the particulars of that, but there was there was a point deduction. There was a knockdown that was not called a knockdown. A uh, referee in that fight gave uh, gave Chance uh, a, a lot of time after being knocked down because he said he couldn't see. Normally that means TKO. Right. Ray Flores, uh, who's here with us tonight, was calling that fight. He was outraged calling that fight. It was uh, vociferous about the way Jerry Cantu handled that. But it really gave Ray John Chance a, a chance to stay in the fight, and he did, and he got a draw. They're talking to each other. Final 30 seconds of round number one. Well, that was because De Jesus, uh, you know, basically uh, hit hit on the break right there, and, and the referee Harvey Dock had something to say, and so did Chance. Body shot counter there from De Jesus. That landed. Was able to slip those shots from Chance. So, again, Chance not with a big speed advantage so far as he probes ahead. Chance scoring with that shot and another one, going to the body nicely there, and a good combination by Chance in the final seconds. And that, boy, making a guy work on Christmas Day, Joe. That is the Grinch that stole Christmas. Yeah. To Jesus oh. with that on his shoes. Chance looked really sharp that end of that round. You liked him in that first round? Oh, yeah. I'd say he won that first round. Right. I thought so. Maybe in that, those final seconds, you know, De Jesus here. De Jesus in the black trunks and Chance in the uh, red trunks. And De Jesus, again, 27 years old, uh, fighting out of Dunkirk, New York, not a boxing hotbed as these to exchange fire right now. Yeah, it, but he got good instruction. Started boxing at the age of 18. He went 25 and 12 as an amateur, but went down to New York City, fought in the open division in the Golden Gloves at 123 pounds, and won the city Golden Gloves, which that still a, means something. That's a feat in, in, in yeah. uh, of itself right there. What's happening right here, Brian, real quick? is uh, Chance is actually doing very well, even on the inside. You know, De Jesus is trying to assert himself in close, which is his best opportunity. But Chance is actually beating him to the punch and landing left hooks before he gets out of the pocket. I like what he's doing tonight. Yeah, I think he's really on tonight. Yeah, he's throwing a combination, and he's not staying there, examining his work. He's getting out of, out of the way and, um, you know, making it a difficult fight for his opponent. Chance trying to use his speed and the control of space. Beautiful head movement there you by see that right hand, Chance. Did you see that right hand, Brian, when, right when uh, De Jesus walked in? It was just a quick lead right hand right off the noggin and got under the left hook counter. He's really being on time. He's really smart tonight and really fast when I'm talking about Chance. It's outlanding De Jesus. You see the copy box numbers in the lower left-hand corner, 16 to 7. Again, this is scheduled for six, so every round is vitally important. Exchange again, uppercut from De Jesus. Digs in with a hook. And you remember the uppercut is what put Chance down in the fifth round the last time they fought. Knocked him down cleanly with that shot. Yeah, he did. And Chance was fortunate to get a draw. He got extra time to recover from that. And also there was a knockdown in the fourth round where then De Jesus hit Chance in the back of the head. And that, he, that was an illegal shot, but he didn't get credit for the knockdown but got a point deduction for the shot to the back of the head. You almost have to see it to understand exactly what happened. I, I hope I'm done explaining it now, because that, that's it. Well, you explained it. You explained it good. That's what actually happened. <laughs> Back here, round number two, final minute of this fight. And again, Chance uh, with uh, uh, new pace, and new new tactics going up against the older De Jesus. Yeah, De Jesus hasn't really got it started yet. Hasn't really got Chance figured out. Chance just a bit faster again. This is a 21-year-old kid. 
yeah, uh, chances his reaction time is quicker, his yeah. punches are faster, whether it's leading or counter punching like that. He's getting out of the way good, but again, only the second round. We got a six round fight on our hands, and that's exactly when De Jesus came on in the uh, last fight, was the last three rounds. And Joe, who would you say had the better warm up coming into the ring? The better warm up? Yeah, because the warm up is very important, especially when you start starting a fight. Newark, New Jersey, Ray John Chance uh, opting to stand between rounds. By the way, looking ahead, New Year's Day, we're back here with you on Fox and then Fox Pay Per View. You can scan the QR code on the screen right now to purchase Luis Ortiz versus Charles Martin, a rematch Johnny Rice against Michael Coffey, which was uh, one of the upsets of the year last year. Frank Sanchez on that card as well. That's next week. Fox Pay Per View on New Year's Day. Round number three, Ray John Chance in the red trunks and Elon De Jesus in the white and black, and a good uppercut there from De Jesus. So far, a change of tactics and speed and focus from Chance, changing this fight quite yeah. a bit from the last matchup. Yeah, De Jesus finally answered something from Chance. Chance got the first set of punches in just a minute ago, and uh, De Jesus finally answered with a few uppercuts there. So, you know, he's got to pick up the pace, because I think right now uh, Chance is really doing what he wants to do. He's kind of dictating the pace of this fight. Yeah, he's is uh he's taking advantage of his speed yeah and the fact that he can move so well and his quickness you know he's using lennox's vision as well he's waiting for a punch and wants to counter you know whip fast and he's able to do that so i, I like the way he's focused just training his eyes on de jesus uh, kind of pull with a hook that's how dangerous de jesus is finally de jesus got a counter in uh, chance through that right hand and got caught with a hook yep. but he smiled he realized the mistake he made just when Chance started to look like he had him measured and had him timed, De Jesus able to change the equation somewhat. That was a big shot. Chance can smile all he wants, but that's a big scoring yeah, blow. Exactly, bro. Sometimes when you're smiling, it's because you're hurt, too. Uh, but this is what De Jesus did in the last fight. You know, he, he, he dropped the first couple, and then he came on midway, third, fourth round, eventually dropping Chance in the fifth. So it's, it's kind of playing out the same way, Brian. Well, look, at that, look at Chris Colbert, by the way. He's really yell, yelling instructions to Chance as well. They know each other from around the gyms here in the New York, New Jersey area. And Chance has to stop holding. He, what he needs to do is actually uh, push De Jesus back away from him Upper after he throws the punches. From De Jesus, digging with the right hand to the body as well. Throwing the hooks and the uppercuts, power shots on the inside. Final minute, round number three. Now, De Jesus said, look, I have to be able to cut off the ring. I have to stop his lateral movement. I don't think Chance is really doing that as much as kind of controlling the space front and back and just kind of doing the matrix on yeah, De Jesus. He really hasn't had to chase him around and try to cut off the ring because Chance has been there challenging him there, uh, you know, in the center of the ring, and he takes the step or two back and tries to come back in the counter. You're right, Brian. He's holding his ground is what we call it. I tell you, punch is connected. He's got the edge here in this round, 9-5, to five, which would be vitally important if you're giving the first two rounds to Chance, which seems reasonable. And Chance has to be careful because the referee's looking close at him, and he, he might uh, talk to him about holding. Big right hand misses there. Chance able to slip that. Chance said he was not focused for the last fight. Focus this time and a beautiful combination in the final seconds of this round, number three. There's Ray John Chance in the corner. That was his father, Roger Chance, who was in the corner with him. Uh, vociferous Joe Goosen with his son in between rounds. What was he telling him? What did you hear? Well, you know, it, there was a, a few people talking in the corner. I, I think probably what he wants his son to do is to use his counter-punching skills, use his ability. Don't sit in the pocket. And if you do, get out quickly. Because that's where, you know, if, if uh, De Jesus is going to get anything accomplished, it's going to be right there in close. So I think he wants his son to go ahead and box and use his jab and those long punches that were so successful for him in the first couple of rounds. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, De Jesus is trying to get in and punch where he can punch, and the only time he can punch is when uh, Chance is close to him. Right. This is a very different fight from the one in September. In that fight in September, if you have a chance to watch it back, you 
you will see. De Jesus was the man advancing and pressing the action. Chance was responding to the aggression. In this fight, it's much more even up. And Chance been able to slip so many shots has kept De Jesus at bay. He has not been able to have sustained success in this fight. Still, De Jesus is a dangerous man. Uppercut from De Jesus. And a hook on top. Harvey Dock said, told you to break. But they continue. There's Roger Chance in the corner right there, yelling to his son. Get an amateur star from East Orange, New Jersey, just a few miles away from here in Newark. And right before uh, De Jesus landed that uppercut, Chance had landed a nice left uppercut himself. So they both landed quite well on the inside. But it's dangerous. I think De Jesus is the bigger puncher, the stronger puncher. To yeah. Especially quite, inside. Especially right? inside. Yeah. They got to be careful of the heads too. Both of them are, you know, jumping in with punches, but. There may be a clash of heads. Well, and that clash of heads preceded the knockdown in the fifth round of their last fight. They both bumped heads really hard, and got, both of them got a little woozy. Oh, right hand. That, that shot was looked uh, borderline. I don't know if it was right on the belt or maybe borderline low. It was not called in a hard right hand by De Jesus. Yeah, and, and uh, Chance blocked that and came back with a counter, right? So it was a good right hand. I think he had his left hand up, though. You don't think it landed? I, I don't think so. I okay. don't think, uh, he, he blocked that one. Yeah. I think Chance and that was a good block because that was a good uh, right hand by De Jesus. It was, but, but Chance came back with a right uppercut counter off of that. That's one thing, you know, you learn is one of the fundamentals. If you, you're going to work a punch, the other one has to be protecting your face. You can't have one halfway down when you're throwing up any punch. Final 30 seconds, round number four, again scheduled for six. Every round important for the scoring. Ray John Chance trying to avenge a draw. I don't know if you can avenge that, but it's a blemish. It's not a loss. Wow, whacked him with the hook. That one landed. Yeah, that one landed. <laughs> they both <laughs> landed. I was going to say, Joe, that landed, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, try. You know, come on. <laughs> You're. And uh, Asus gets to work. Working through the holidays, but we hope you're enjoying your Christmas. Here we've got an interesting rematch. Lennox, let me just ask you something. Ray John Chance standing in between rounds. Do you like that? You don't like that? What do you yeah, make? I like that. That shows he's in good shape. Shows he's ready and he's, you know, he's prepared for this fight, which is really good. Yeah, he said during the week, he said, look, discipline is everything. He said he had discipline in this camp. He was not disciplined the first fight that they had in September, and that was to Jesus, who really did get the better of it. But it was ruled a draw. Good counter hook there yeah, wasn't by it? Ray John Chance. Yeah, a, 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 a reach by De Jesus that fell short, and a nice counter hook, like you said, Brian. That was, that's that's kind of what Chance has been doing tonight, counter punching really well. You can see they got him backing up and boxing right now in the corner. They don't want him to get Another lucky punch hit against him. Well, it wasn't a lucky punch, but a, a punch by being in the wrong spot at the wrong time. They want to keep him where he's doing best, and that's on the outside, and I think it's smart. I know what you mean. It was kind of like a prayer, but it landed. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't have too many of those land. No. Not off your head. And, and just in response to the standing up in between rounds, you know, oh, boy. There we go. So he got hit low, Harvey Dock. So, so going to call time. What's happened is we got holding, and then it goes low. So watch the holding, too. We got him on the low blow. You watch the holding. You heard time what he man. said, right, Brian? Yeah, I Harvey agree Doc. with him. Well, we're going to take another look to see exactly well, what Harvey Doc said you're leaning on him, you're holding him, and that's what's causing it. Oh, yeah. Kind of on the elbow there. Yeah, it wasn't really that it slid that off the elbow punch. He had one earlier, I thought, in the previous round. I, I, I it mentioned worse. it was borderline. I thought it was worse, yeah, actually. Exactly. I, I don't think I don't think De Jesus is fighting dirty, but you know, you want to you want to hurt that body, you want to hit it, and you can see his belt line. I, you know, yeah, it's yeah. not uniform, and so he's going to throw something right on the border. And De Jesus is going to the body really well right now. Sure did with that right hand, didn't he? Well? But the one thing I was going to go just go back to about standing in the corner. You know, and you know this, Brian. You've been in enough gyms. You never sit down in sparring. Right, right. You know, that's so it feels. Well, you always wonder, like, so that does it feel strange when you're in a fight as they exchange combinations again? I've had a few fighters say, if I sit down, I feel like I won't be able to get back up. Well, I think that was George Foreman did that first, right? <laughs> but he was 44 years old. Right. <laughs> Chance is boxing a smart fight right now. He's yep. scoring points and then he's moving away. He's not being there for the Jesus to get him back again. Yep. Lennox, you can see the amateur class of Chance in this fight. You can see why he had 133 amateur wins. Nice uppercut there by Chance, but he eats a hook on the way out. Spirited fight, good combination by Chance. 
uppercut by De Jesus. Beautiful exchanges. Yeah, it's desperate. I think it's desperation time for uh, De Jesus right now. I think he was given orders from his corner. Look, you're probably behind on points right now. You need to get rough with him and get tough and land something of uh, substance here to turn this fight around. Right. Yeah, and Chance is moving around so well that he should just keep on moving around just like he's been doing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Tell you, now, punch is connected. I just want to throw in. It's not a wide discrepancy. Uh, maybe we've got this, the, the sense that, oh, Chance is winning rounds here. Uh, but it's it's not wide on CompuBox. Now, round by round, perhaps it's different, and we've got one round remaining. We're going to go into the corners and listen in. Hey, I need your fucking hands up. Yeah, give me some water, bro. I'm giving it to you. No. Let's go. I need some water. I, I need them jabs, you hear me? We had a low blow, but watch the whole thing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, when you get in there, I need that penitentiary going. I don't need you to keep grabbing. His shit open every fucking time, and you keep underhooking. Penitentiary. Last penitentiary last in there. Yeah. Next up. Heavy on yes. Knee, then bring the hook up top. Yes. Yeah. And then get back to the boxing. Yeah. Simple. Simple. Ooh. 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 Back up. Let's go, my boy. You hear me? Get that left back up. Wow. I don't want that, it. That's yeah, fantastic. That's his father. That's yeah, Roger Chance's right? father. Yeah. And he was going a little rough on his kid. Yeah. And then, yeah. Ray John, you, I love you. It's all right. Yeah, he's <laughs> telling him the right thing. He's trying to fire him up. He's telling him, you yeah. know, when he's getting in close, do some work. Don't be holding. A good action, good sportsmanship here. They've met twice oh, already. And here on Christmas Day, these two are getting after it when we with a, a sustained effort. When we interviewed these guys during the fighter meetings, you could tell they were both really good people. And they just showed it right there. I, I'm really happy to see that. A lot of respect, Joe. You're absolutely right. Final round. And while we get the sense, Ray John Chance has been winning some rounds. It could be reasonably close by the judges at ringside. The right hand there, hammered down by De Jesus. Again, De Jesus, we thought, won the previous fight in September, and he did not. He can get a surprise, and the rounds could be reasonably close. Yeah, and the, you know, sometimes you can get a, a let a fight slip away because you're doing the wrong thing. Right now, Chance is up against the ropes. Wrong place to be right now. Trying the uppercut on the way in. De Jesus active throughout. Again, you know, he's done an awful lot with his career. Coming from you know, right uh, upstate New York off the shores of, the, of Lake Erie. Uh, not a boxing hotbed in Dunkirk, New York. Started boxing at 18, and yet look at the level that he's fighting at. Watch on the left side. Look at that right hand from De Jesus. Again, he has accomplished a lot in his career. The blue chipper is Chance, stop, but stop, De Jesus stop, has done an awful lot. Stop, and he's the man who is still undefeated turn, coming turn. in. Now he says there, he got hit low. Well, during that little time, you know, uh, Chance's know father right. told him to right. keep his hands up on the inside. And you saw that little chopped right hand was due to the fact that he had dropped his hands on the inside. So not listening to his dad in that respect. It's a good point. We're going to watch it again as they exchange. These two guys are getting after it in these final two minutes. We'll watch again and see if this was low. You can look on the left-hand side of your screen. And yeah, that's low. Yeah. Sure. And not, not egregious, but low. No, no. Well, right now, I on the cup. Things are getting things are getting really rough on the inside here yeah. with both guys. And, such, and look, such desire, Joe. There's no yeah. question. Look at the Jesus that getting was, after it now. Chance says he got hit low. That was a real low blow there. Boy, if he takes a point away, he's in deep trouble. Yeah, he took a point away. Yeah, took a point yeah, away. Did he, I saw him call time. I don't know if he could, if he took a point away yet. Uh, he called time. He hasn't taken a point away yet. I don't know if he will. I know one more that's going to cost See, Harvey Doctor right. said it. One more that's going to cost And I think that's the right call, isn't it, It is it, the Joe? right yeah. call because they've both been going back and forth with it right now. That one was a little bit lower than the one that Chance had just thrown. And Chance, by the way, has five minutes if he wants to take this time. Right. They haven't taken it Let's to this point, it. but they can. Oh, watch. watch it again. This is low. I already know. All right, that's low. See, that's that brutally low. That is a legitimate low blow. The one that Chance threw was a borderline. was on the belt and right. below the belt. That, that, was, that was egregious, actually. That was that, that's, absolutely. That, that's Actually, if, he, if Doc had seen the replay, I wonder if he'd take a point no, away, because he I, could. I don't think so, because no. he, does, he doesn't that, want What has he got to do? I'll tell you why, because they've both been going back and forth with this. It's been a rough fight. He doesn't want to influence this fight by taking a point and not leaving it in the judges. And that might be the right call, Joe. I'm not saying I, I don't yeah, it might be. do it on purpose at that point of the fight. Yeah. But I'm just saying, to throw it like that, like when people watch this again and go, what was that? Like, that's the most illegal thing you can do. 
you know, just like people miss punches to the head, you ready? they miss punches you ready? to the body. Too. Well, he Here said that in the, in the first fight when De Jesus hit Chance in the back of the head and said, boy, I look back on video and I said, ooh, that looks bad. I didn't mean to do that. I thought he was popping back up. All right, you take him for his word, and, and if you yeah. do, then it was an accident. No, I, I, I like that Harvey Doc didn't take the point yeah, away, to be honest with you. It, it just, it, 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 it was bad. Yeah. And I'm sure Ray John Sheds would tell you, and I'm sure that their corner would say, come on. Minute left of this fight. Spirited action, good uppercut by Chance. A lot on the line in these guys' careers right here in this final minute. You can see the desire of De Jesus trying to make hay while he's on the inside. Yeah, this was a 10-round fight. It, it, we might have a, a real, you know, back and forth, not knowing who's going to win this fight. But I think right now, uh, Chance. Chance is ahead. Yeah. He's, he's way ahead right now. Uh, punch stats have it 57 to 46, as you can see in the lower left-hand part of your screen, just to keep track that way. You can usually go round by round to get a pretty good indication of how the judges will score it. Not always, but an indication. Final 20 seconds of this fight. Oh, boy. Jesus just missed a real whistler of a right hand. A lot of grappling, a lot of wrestling going on on the inside for position. Final 10 seconds. De Jesus needs something big. Rage on Chance, trying to get back on track, and that's it. They both wanted it. They both have their fans. Rage on Chance really thought that he lost that last fight. He was fortunate to get a draw. You can tell he thinks he won this one. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he feels he won it. That's a good performance because Lennox, you and I both thought, babe, babe, do you need this guy again in your life? Let him go back to Dunkirk, New York, <laughs> do his own thing. You don't need this guy, yeah, but he know, won after him. You know what he was saying in the fighters meeting. He yep. wasn't happy. He yeah. wanted this fight again. He got the fight. Now, he didn't disappoint. He did what he wanted to do. And I think he came through with the win. Wow. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Robin Taylor, scores the bout 58 to 56 in favor of Rajon Chance. Judge of ringside, Lynn Carter, sees it 58 to 56 in favor of Elon De Jesus. And judge at ringside, Henry Grant, scores the action 59 to 55 in favor of the winner. Rajon Picasso Chan. A split decision. Close. Very close. Very fight. close I mean, indeed. It, it was a close it, fight. And it seemed like it was close. It was competitive. Uh, from what you guys are saying, you believe the right guy won that fight. I yeah. thought the last score was exactly the right one. Yes, it was. Close fight, competitive, third time around. Hey, let's do it again. No, maybe not. <laughs> you can see why these guys always have a close fight. Now, Joe, always... Right, Joe just gave me a look like, no, walk, like both camps are like, oh. I've seen enough of this guy. Yeah, you, he, they dodged the bullet on the first one, both guys, to tell you the truth. Right. And in the second one, you walk away with the prize. Walk away, run away, don't come <laughs> Take back your W it. and yeah, move on.